Alrighty. Doing a little more work on the harness for the 4.8. You basically can see how I want it. I want the harness, the main loop of it, to run behind the motor. And I'm going to, not obviously, it's not permanent. I'm going to tuck the wires underneath the fuel rail. I just rotated the injectors around. And I clipped them from the back side. Um, a mass airflow sensor. I'm going to shorten this about three feet because I'm going to have the mass airflow sensor probably in the close proximity to the throttle body. Here's the throttle body. It's like a. Oh, um, I forget what size it is. It's off the six liter. It's bigger than a 78 millimeter. It's not quite 92 millimeter. Uh, uh, get the alternator wire, throttle position wire. You have the lead for your idle air motor. Uh, do, 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 do. Knock sensor lead. Lead for your map sensor. Uh, crank position sensor, which I use one of those nice little wire retainer clips. I know it's dark. Let me see if I got a little light over here. That's better. And the harness is going to be... I'm going to shorten the lead by about three feet. Then you got your cam sensor, wire, leads, and then your oil pressure sensor, which is optional in the harness. I'm going to put it back in. Uh, I removed it. I'm going to put that back in. I'm going to move my coolant temperature sensor. Here's the lead for it. I'm going to put it back here in the corner, passenger side cylinder head, and get it away from the front. Um, and you got your oxygen sensor, oxygen sensors, and your grounds. So I'm in the beginning. I'm coming along, I should say. I still want to do uh, quite a bit of, I'm going to do some shortening and you know just neatening it up. I wanted the harness to be as simple as possible, you know, but as effective as possible. I don't want to have a huge rat's nest. Uh, when I did the harness on the olds, it was still one of the first harnesses I did. It was functional. I cleaned it up a bit, but in my opinion, it was still a bit messy. I still had a bunch of random wires poking out of it. So with this one I want it to be really really nice, really really simple. And then obviously you got your connectors for your computer and then all your key 12 volt leads and then your two 12 volt constant. And I'm going to show you how to make a fuse block. Yeah, I already posted in a previous video Real smart, real clumsy I am. The Dorman fuse block is what I use. Uh, one thing I need to do is on the driver's side, injectors and coil pack. This is how I want it wired. The only issue is this is number one, number three, number five, and number seven. So I'm gonna have to reverse the move the pins around in the uh, in the back of the connector at the ECM. It's easier to do that, rearrange a few wires there instead of chopping and lengthening the wires here. Like I said, ultimately see how the wires are gonna flow. I want them coming back here. I want the bulk of the harness tucked under the intake, and then I want the PCM over here, which would be where the HVAC block was. So that's where I'm at. Just trucking along, just trying to put the wires where they need to be. Some are going to be shortened, you know, others are going to be rearranged, sensors are going to get moved around just to accommodate the vehicle and the application. Well, that's my little update for today. It's still cold, it's still snowy, it's still crappy outside, so I'm stuck doing indoor work but it can be very productive, very lucrative. 
that way when the nice weather comes all I have to do is the heavy work and enjoy the vehicle. So I hope this helps somebody. Um, building this harness is not hard. Like I said, the hardest part about it is, is cutting out all the wires you don't need, removing the loom, and neatening, shortening, and rearranging the wires the way you want it. So it's, it's a pretty easy undertaking so far. It's just tedious and time consuming. Alrighty, I'm going to follow up with another update soon. And uh, you guys uh, take care. Any questions, comments, always feel free to hit me up. I try to answer as many as I can. And as always, I'll, uh, like and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day and have a good rest of your week, folks.